moving right along, we have another white devil who is in the uh, U.S. Congress, the House of Representatives. This white lump of shit is Representative Clay Higgins. There you go, a Christian fascist from Louisiana, who published a bunch of racist comments about Haitians yesterday. Haitians. Now, this miserable son of a bitch who wallows around in Louisiana when he's not wallowing around in the U.S. Congress felt compelled to get his uh, nickels worth in about what has happened to Haitian legal residents of Springfield, Ohio. Um, I... Uh, <laughs> I need to take a deep breath because I, I, I know my language can be very offensive. Okay. Uh, what happened was yesterday in, in a post on X, this lump of white shit named Clay Higgins from Louisiana called Haitians thugs, called Haiti the, quote, nastiest country in the Western Hemisphere, end quote, and repeated the faults and dehumanizing claims about eating pets. Now, the remarks were called out by somebody, uh, maybe his mama or his wife or maybe his children, and he deleted the post, though he has not yet issued an apology. Why should he apologize? Now, this is, this is a good Christian. Yes, as I'll reveal to you in a moment here. Now, this bullshit unfolded, according to the Washington Post, yesterday on the House floor uh, as representatives got together to vote on a spending bill, bill to avert the government shutdown that we seem to be going through every three months, right, because of these dumb fucking Christian fascists who are determined to destroy the government. Well, Representative Stephen Horsford, a Democrat from Nevada, confronted – the white Christian devil, uh, Clay Higgins, on the floor of the House, and uh, Horsford asked Higgins uh, to take down the post. So House Speaker Mike Johnson, who's also a Christian fascist of the highest order from Louisiana, told reporters that Clay Higgins was approached by colleagues who told him the post was offensive. Now, isn't that interesting? I, I, we're to believe, I guess, that Christian fascist white lump of shit Representative Clay Higgins of Louisiana wasn't aware that his rotten post was offensive. So it took a few other members of the uh, House of Representatives to let poor old Clay Higgins know that it was offensive. So Speaker Johnson said he then spoke to Higgins about it. After which, according to Johnson, quote, Higgins prayed about it, and he regretted it, and he pulled the post down. That's what you wanted the gentleman to do, end quote. Um, <laughs> where to begin on that quote? He prayed about it? Uh, uh, he <laughs> he prayed... So I can just see this lump of white debris, Representative Clay Higgins, Christian fascist from Louisiana. What, th did he pray in the chamber? Did he go out in the hallway, the cloakroom, or to his office? They say, God up in heaven, listen, I need to pray to you about some shit that I put up on X. Do you know what X is, God, Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, Trump? Do you know what? Well, I put some nasty words up there, and I really believe it. And, and But now I'm being told that it was racist and ugly. What should I do, dear God, Christ, Lord Jesus in heaven? Huh? Help me, help me. <laughs> oh, my God. Deep breath. Exhale. <sighs> and then when Speaker Johnson said that that's what the gentleman should do, this guy is a gentleman the same way my pet cat is a goddamn rhinoceros. This this gentleman? This white lump of thuggery bullshit coming out of Louisiana? Yeah, he's a gentleman. 
So on the House floor, back to the representative, Stephen Horsford from Nevada, the Democrat. He introduced a censure censure resolution against the white lump of terror. Uh, In a statement shortly thereafter, the minority leader, Democrat of New York, Hakeem Jeffries, said that uh, Higgins, quote, must be held accountable for dishonorable conduct that is unbecoming of a member of Congress. Um, Well, Mr. Jeffries, with all due respect, sir, unbecoming of a member of Congress? Given what you witness every day from these Christian fascists, uh, I mean, if, if every little bit of conduct unbecoming a member of Congress, as defined by your code of ethics there, Speaker to be Jeffries, if every single bit of dishonorable conduct would be met with a resolution uh, of censure against a person saying, you folks would never get anything done. That's all that comes out of the mouths of these son of a bitches, these Christian devils. That's it. It's bullshit, lies, deceit, ugliness, racism, hatred. <clears throat> um, now, you don't need to be told, but what the hell, I'll do it anyway that this white lump of a poison represented Clay Higgins from Louisiana, the post he put up on X was referencing the bullshit spread in recent weeks by the two leading figures on the Christian fascist ticket to become president and vice president. Excuse me, I have to cough. Okay, feel much better. That would be the orange bastard Donald Trump and his pet ape, J.D. Vance. The lies and the bullshit that Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, were, God help us, eating family pets of the good, decent white people in Springfield, all of which, of course, is bullshit. However... What the man who would be dictator of the United States and his pet ape, what they are saying has prompted bomb threats that, that closed schools and hospital and, and necessitated the deployment of state troopers and left the, the, the Haitian citizens of Springfield, Ohio, afraid to go door. I mean, this is what they fled from. And as far as this idiotic asshole Clay Higgins statement that Haiti is the nastiest country in the Western Hemisphere, oh, I don't disagree. I don't disagree with that at all. But why is it nasty, you white asshole? It's because white people have decided to keep it nasty since the 1840s. I think it was the 1840s when the enslaved. Africans in Haiti under French torture decided they'd had enough and rose up against their masters and killed every fucking white slave owner on the, in the country. And as a result, well, white people around the world said, what? What? They did what? They killed. Well, it says in the Bible. So as a result of that, um, the black population of Haiti has been treated uh, as if they're subhuman ever since. And that's an historical fact. I may have the date wrong, but that's what happened. So anyway, uh, when some white moron like Higgins refers to uh, Haiti as the nastiest country in the Western Hemisphere, well, it's easy to say that, Higgins, but why don't you and your white Christian uh, brothers and sisters do something to alleviate the suffering of the people in Haiti. Oh, well, fuck no. You would never do that, would you? Uh, anyway, um, as you know by now, because the story's been beat to death, the white uh, Republican governor of, of Ohio, Mike DeWine, and the town's mayor, who's also a Republican, and other elected officials have denied and condemned what is coming out of the filthy mouths of uh, Trump and his pet ape. But most Republicans, of course, have have been reluctant to criticize Trump and Vance for repeating this bullshit. And neither of these two monsters, Trump or his pet ape, 
have denied the claim and said, although the pet ape came close to it when he said, well, it may not be true a couple of weeks ago when this shit started. Um, and Higgins, the white devil from uh, Louisiana, made his post on X two days after the orange bastard said of legal citizens, immigrant citizens, okay, they don't have a U.S. citizenship, but they're still citizens of Springfield, Ohio. They're working. They're attending religious services. Their kids go to school. Their kids are in Boy Scouts and taking dance lessons. And 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 the husbands and wives are maintaining homes and businesses and, and working. But according to the racist pig bastard Donald Trump and his white allies, um, they're eating pets? Oh, well. So anyway, the... Uh, the post that this uh, white devil from Louisiana made came two days after Trump said, quote, when he was addressing a campaign rally in Pennsylvania, he started screaming, you have to get them the hell out. You have to get them the hell out. Them being decent, working, legally here people who came from one of the countries that Trump loves to refer to as a shithole. The biggest shithole in America is his Winter Palace, Mar-a-Lago, in Florida, where he invites some of the world's dictators to hobnob and come up with a plan so that Trump can be a dictator. And in his post, the white devil from Louisiana Higgins threatened that the Haitians should, quote, get out of our country before January 20th. What is significant about January 20th? Right. That's when Higgins thinks the uh, orange vomit will then be sworn in as the 47th president of the United States, at which time it'll be, according to Higgins, although he didn't say this, I'm sure he's thinking it, well, boy, I'll give me a chance to, you know, polish up my 30 6 and um, join the fun as we plink these uh, Haitian things out of existence. You think that's going too far on my part to think that uh, Higgins might be thinking that? <laughs> Shit. Um, and he also ridiculed Higgins did a lawsuit that has just been fired, filed this week against Trump and Vance, a lawsuit brought by leaders of a, a Haitian nonprofit over what has happened to these citizens or residents, that's the more correct word, the residents of Springfield, Ohio, who happen to be migrants from Haiti. Now, in uh, by the way, um, back in 2016, this white bastard Higgins resigned from the sheriff's office in St. Landry Parish in Louisiana uh, after he uh, described in a video, a 20, this is in 2016, he described in a video, he called alleged gang members as heathens and animals. And then he won his house seat, house seat a few months later. Well, of course. I mean, there are enough white, racist, pig-fucking voters in Louisiana who, you know, if, if one of their kin jumps up and says, yeah, them people are animal. They're not even animal. They're not even human. They're animals. They're heathens. They don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody knows the Lord Jesus Christ was a white man with long blonde hair. God damn these people. Well, he's going to get elected. And yesterday, Hakeem Jeffries, the House Minority Leader, questioned Speaker Johnson's decision to name Higgins to a House task force investigating an assassination of Trump on the or attempt on the orange vomit. Jeffries said, quote, perhaps that's something that House Republican leadership should reevaluate. 
Yeah, probably so, uh, Speaker or Speaker to be Jeffries. Probably so. It should be reevaluated, but um, should is a million miles from will, isn't it? Huh? Something like that. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.